today I just wanted to show you how to crochet a quick applique and it's going to look like this. Let's do this! I will demonstrate with the red yarn, a slightly bigger hook than I would use for the actual blanket. Start by making a slip knot, and then chain one and leave that fairly big, and then chain three normal. So this is the first chain. Uh, this is the first double crochet, and this is going to be the, our magic ring down here. Now do twelve double crochet in the first stitch or in the magic ring counting this one as the first one. So it's one, and two, and three, four, Eleven and twelve. Okay, now we need to first of all tighten our magic ring. A lot of people leave this and they just weave it in and I've done that in the past too and the problem is the slightest bit of pull on this and the magic ring opens up again. So the first thing we need to do is just take the end and tighten the magic ring as much as possible. And then we can pull it through the first chain here. And then just secure it like that. And then So now when we weave this in, it's going to have a nut right there that will secure that the the hole in the middle here will never get bigger than this. So to continue, we are going to work in a spiral rather than a round. If we were working in a round, we would just finish it here and then start a new round. But instead of that, we are going to do half a double crochet. So that is insert and then go through two. And then the other half is going to be on top of the first one here. That is the third chain on the first chain we did here. Go through two, go through two, and go through two. So now we've jumped from the previous row and up. And we're just going to continue in the same way. But from now on we want to work only front posts double crochets. And on this round there's going to be two on each in each stitch. And that's a little difficult around the post. But it is absolutely possible to do two double crochet around the post twice. They're just going to sort of wrap around each other. And if you've seen the picture of what this is supposed to look like, you might be thinking this doesn't look like it at all, but that's because we're actually looking at the back. So this, this is just going to look like a normal round, but when we turn it around, we're going to have these, this raised edge from where we do from, from where we're doing the front posts. So this is actually the stitch from the previous row, but we worked in the post. As you can see here, I have a twisted sort of increase. To continue, I'll just keep track of where my beginning is, and my beginning is here. It's pretty easy to find, because that is where the raised edge begins. And when I have finished half the row, 
So when I'm here, I will increase. So if I'm on double crochets, I will go into triple crochets. If I'm in triple, I'll go into quattro, I think they would be called. I don't know. But yarning over uh, double would be one time. Triple would be two times, and then you can do three, four, five, and so on. So after I've done the next one here, I think I'll continue into the into wrapping one more time. So I'll do a triple or triple. I am not sure, <laughs> but yarn over twice. So you have two two lines on the hook like this. Go in front, get the yarn, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, and yarn over, go through two again. And on this first round, you're still going to do two of these stitches in every in every stitch or around every post, I should say. So now I should be back where I, the beginning of the round here. So now I'm going to switch to wrapping three times. And I will only increase in every other. So one, two, three. And the first one, if I can find the first one here. I didn't finish it. I just need to do one more here. Otherwise I'm going to get a big hole where I'm jumping from this round to the next round. Like that. And then three times and into the first one here. Two, three, four. One, two, three. And then two in the next. One. Two, three, four, and another one. And one next. <laughs> it's a bit challenging to both be doing the triple and so on and do the front post. One, two, three, and then two in the next. Two. Three and four and another. So when you're at the point, I think I'm at the point now where I think it's big enough. I'm just going to finish off. So first of all, I would like a couple of more stitches around the last stitch or in front of it. So I'm just going to do a couple more in here. That should do it. So I haven't progressed, I've just done a couple around here. The next thing I want to do is cut the yarn. And then we can weave in the beginning strand in a strategic way. <laughs> um, we can pull it through the center here and then we can Put it into the start of the spiral. And this will enable us to pull that center just a little bit tighter so that it's more of a spiral.
much for watching and I hope to see you again next time.